Okay, let's move on now to this big pink call now button. So I feel like it'd be great if on a mobile phone you could just tap on that button and it would actually start dialing the number. So we can do that using a link element. And we already have most of the styles we need for this because it's the same as these buttons up here. So we're just gonna try and reuse those styles as much as we can. So let's start by putting that element in here. I'm gonna use HRs to create those lines because I think it creates a, a, there's a thematic break there. And I'm gonna put this in a div. It'll give me a little bit more control over it. So class equals call now. And inside that, I want users to be able to press on it and make it a telephone call with it. So I'm actually gonna use an H element or an A element, and I can use the href to actually allow people to make a phone call, to dial a specific number. And the way I do that is using the tell scheme. So if I type tell and then put a colon and then type in the phone number in the international format, your phone will be able to dial it. So if we look in Photoshop here, you can see this doesn't actually have an area code. So I'm just gonna assume it's a 1-800 number for now. I think that's good enough for this. So let's just go plus one eight hundred and five 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 two three six eight five 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 two three six eight. There we go. So now what will happen is you will actually be able to press on this button on your phone, and it will start dialing that number. Okay. So let's go back to Photoshop here, and I'm going to grab this text, and I'll paste it right in here. Okay. So there's my text. Now, if you remember, the class we were using above to give for the navigation was the class BTN. So let's put that on here. Let's go to Chrome and see what that looks like. There we go. So that's almost exactly what we're looking for, right? It's got the right colors and the right weight and the right border radius and everything. The only thing that's different is if we look in Photoshop, you can see call now is actually on its own line and the text is white to make it stand out a little bit more. So I want to, you know, I, I'm thinking about why call now is white and I feel like maybe because it's emphasized, because it's more important. So let's put it in an M tag because I think it is more important than the rest of the text. And then we can actually style that M tag and, you know, make it look a little bit different. So let's call it, let's give it a class, let's say uh, BTN, EM. So because it's emphasized text inside of our button. So let's go to our CSS here and we'll style that. So that was BT. Actually, we should probably put that where the BTN is just to keep everything grouped together. Here it is right here. So let's go dot BTN. What did I call it? EM. <laughs> okay. And the only difference was that it was white. So let's set its color like that. We'll go back to here and there we go. So it's now it's white. It's still not on its own line. So how can we make it on its own line? Well, if we think about display in line, display block type ideas, when you set an element to be display block, it goes onto its own line and it forces everything after it also onto its own line. So if we wanted to get the word call onto its own line, the simplest solution would be to just set this to display block and it will now go onto its own line just like that, which is what we're looking for. Now, if we go back to Photoshop, you can see it's not italic. So I want to remove the italics from it. So we'll go on style normal. That will get rid of our italics. Cool. And the last thing is that you can see when we hover over it, it's kind of disappears. So let's go and do a dot btn colon hover dot btn em. So we're going to style it differently when you actually hover onto it. So I want to give it just a different color. And I think I'd like it to be the brighter pink color. So it still has a little bit of a different emphasis. So I want it to be this color here. All right. Cool. So we probably actually want to do this line three times for the active and the focus state. 
Okay. So whenever we hover over it or focus it or active the or the button is active, we're going to style the EM a little bit differently. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. So that looks pretty good, I think. I feel like it's a little bit closer to the word neighborhood than it is than these other words. Like it feels like a little jam together to me. Um, that's just a little bit of a design issue. But what I might do is I might just put a margin on the top of it just a little bit just to give it the same consistent spacing like that. So it just has a nice spacing to it. There we go. That is the button. So we didn't have much to do for that button because we were just reusing those classes that we defined above for our navigation. All we had to do was write the stuff that was different.